Tamala Reed has a very personal perspective on the age-old question, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? When Tamala was diagnosed with a form of leukemia in 2006, she was 36, happily married with two young daughters. She had earned two master's degrees, one in organizational management, another in business administration, and had just signed a lease on a commercial kitchen for her soul food catering business. God, she cried, why would you do this to me? Tamala prayed. She carried around three by five cards of scripture to meditate on, studying them like she studied during her master's programs. She claimed God's promises of healing and continued to pray. Then, six weeks after her diagnosis, she noticed that the grapefruit-sized lump on her chest was gone. She raced to tell the doctor, I've been healed. He told her she had to undergo the cancer treatment anyway. God, she cried, you healed me. Why would you put me through this? During that horrible year, Tamala heard God's answer. No one knows the needs of cancer patients better than a cancer patient. Tamala wasn't always listening to God. She only saw her father twice before hearing that he had died of a drug overdose. As a Claremont High School student, she defied the teachings of her youth pastor, a former NFL player named Miles McPherson. As soon as she got the strength after her cancer treatment, Tamala put the wheels in motion to start a ministry for patients, caregivers, and survivors. Tamala's family is almost as involved as she is. She never envisioned how big God's plans for the ministry were. Rock Cancer Care is about to become a nonprofit with 100 active volunteers and a committee leadership team. It has helped more than 400 patients, delivering 300 meals and providing 500 rides to chemo and other appointments. The needs are endless. Tamala now understands the purpose God had planned for her pain, and hundreds are being blessed because she obeyed Him. Congratulations, Tamala Reed, Rock Hero for March 2010.